so we're starting the game. White went for the ball, but blue got it in the end, and they're now attacking the white goal. So the scrum at the surface. Malch is attacking. They also have a player next to the basket. Peter Kalkova defending for checking. They're defending quite good. Malch isn't getting to the goal after 20, <laughs> 35 <laughs> seconds. But yeah, it would be a bit <laughs> worrying. Um, now they're going midfield. Vienna has the ball, so this is Jan Ove, I think. Ball possession stays wide. They're moving to the blue corner. Loss of the ball again. Malsch is attacking again. Number 11. So there the Vienna team is managing to get some the ball, but there the Germans are better at, at keeping it and stealing it from them. And this is a goal, so apparently from the closed side the other players must have lifted the goal here, taken advantage of the small hole. The defense, I don't know if you saw, there was the other goal yeah. pushing pushing his teammate onto, uh, on the basket, but apparently that was not enough. Totally. Okay, so Vienna starts again. Yeah. <coughs> and, mm, they stay in ball possession. Struggling at the midfield. Now blue is in ball possession again. I think is it out? No, it's not out of the playing field. Setting up their attack, waiting for the other players to arrive. And going straight in. So let, let's see how Vienna does, because of course there's a difference in level between those two teams if you're uh, being objective. But I think they can, uh, I think they will put, a, put up a good game, They're I think, I hope. And goal oh, again. Was an another goal. Number So much is definitely much yeah. way stronger, as yeah. we know. But Vienna is really good defending, but they struggle to keep the ball in their possession, so they're really fast losing the ball, right? Yeah, so on defense they're struggling, but March, the, both times now we had someone from coming from the open side and uh, really pressing a long time against mm -hmm. the, the goalie, so maybe, I don't know if the team has realized that it's just it's 2-0 for the moment. Let's see how it evolves and if there is other goals, how they come. Yeah, or maybe they get used to or get into the game. Or was it roughing uh, the free throw. free throw for Vienna? Was it roughing? Not sure. So, let's play. Okay. Trying to come over the close corner. Lost the ball again. Not sure very good at, at getting the ball, the ball from Vienna. Yes. I mean, I have to say Vienna has also a couple new players, not not many, but I know um, Akos is new, um, Thorsten I don't know either. Okay, so maybe a bit newer players. Yeah, Marsh has quite experienced players, some of them played for the um, national team. Oh, Vienna half, half the team of Vienna was playing at the World Championships yeah. too. The summer. Mm. And they did a good job. So. So they're in the midfield, trying to steal the ball from the blue team. They're now attacking from the close corner. Defender got the ball. But another attack, he got it from underneath him again. Yes. And now there's a struggle at the white goal. Um, blue has the goal. He's attacking from the open side. And then the goal, goal again. Pass to the close side and then goal. They're really good. I think they just uh, at once. The when they put the yeah. goal, it's very quick movement. You don't really They're see always how, two, how it happens. Two, two or three people attacking together. So apparently we should focus on Christian Provel, number 14 from Malch. Okay, we will try to see who he is on the water and if we can uh, recognize yeah. him. <laughs> and I think focus on his I team. think I could because he has like curly hair and sometimes it sticks out. Underneath this cap, so. Okay. 
So Annika plays in Germany and I, I play yeah. in Austria. So that's why we know a bit the players, but not too well. Okay, so that's Christian Povald on, yeah, on, on, on the goal. goal. Okay. So now some midfield, Vienna has the ball, lost the ball, midfield. And number two of Miles is attacking alone, waiting for his uh, space. Now they're taking, that's Christian Brovard actually. Check. No, and that's the goal. There was the, the lift of yeah. the goalie and the, uh, Sometimes so the player wraps yeah. himself again around the basket and passes. Yes. So Hobart was wrapped around the basket, passing to the, get the ball to one of his teammates and then yeah. was able to score. Do you hear all the background no noise, uh, the spectators online? Because here we hear in our headphones a lot of the people talking. Talking, it's Lorena talking. I from, outside, from outside. But I don't know if you hear that too in the... Uh, in the live stream, yes, you do. Okay. okay. Well, this is us. Um, so time out for Vienna. Vienna took a time out now. Um, yes. So the game goes slightly as, as expected. I, to be honest, didn't expect to be so many goals in the first in the first half. Yeah. Let, let's see how it keeps on evolving. Maybe. Um, Marsh, I don't know how if they want, if they think of keeping on playing as hard as possible. They're uh, on their side. Do they want to play as hard as possible, or do they play a bit more they relaxed did. now because they mm -hmm. you know 4-0 first half? Maybe Vienna changes their tactics now. They just took a timeout. So let, let's see how the, the game keeps on evolving. Uh, there's four minutes left, and a lot of the games uh, today is, has been the team who was clearly dominated. Uh, at the beginning, the last towards the last three, four minutes of the first half time, they change a bit. They get a bit more awake, or yes. the, the game changes a bit towards the end of the first, first half time. Now, now they're struggling again on the middle field. Um, the ball is in possession of number six of Marsh. Um, he passed. They're trying to set up attack again. Uh, Vienna players struggle yeah. to take the ball from Marsh. Yes. They're, they're don't really make it. So there's another attack going on from the closed corner. Um, where is it? The ball is in midfield. In midfield again, possession of Vienna, but they dropped it and recovering. So there was a advantage apparently. Holding. Holding. So free throw for Vienna. It's interesting how often a lot of the the fouls are actually made by the team that is currently winning. It was yes. the case the previous game, uh, Langen against uh, who the king? Uh, Black Mermaid. Uh, against the Black Mermaid, also Orcas before against um, Amager. They yeah. doing quite a lot of fouls, maybe also because mm -hmm. you're trying to play more intense and more risky to, to score. Yeah. So we now have again ball possession of Mount, um swing in the closed corner, trying to set up a tech, losing the ball, um, but recovering it really fast. And there was again another referee call holding um, for Vienna, for Vienna free throw. Mm -hmm. So I think it's almost back to the ball again. Yeah. In free throw, it's not two meters. Um, okay. They started and are now trying to keep the ball, but one of the mass players. I didn't. It was the second free throw, and one of the mass players. One against one. That's Christian Prova, isn't it? The goalie Copy. got the ball and is yes. trying. No, it wasn't. Okay. Vienna is defending again. There yes. is a surface scrum in the corner. Really in between the walls. <laughs> yes. Okay, Vienna has the ball. Going midfield, trying to pass two Marsh players. And now there. Past midfield. Number four, the two people trying to set up a tag, which is 
going quite well. So this is Peter Kalk over here. Lost his snorkel. Yes. So and with the contemporary dancing here in the field fighting for the ball. Checking forward. Okay, so it's now some fights for ball possession. Re Vienna is really trying. Um, the red getting into the game, right? Okay. And we're again um, around the Vienna basket. Two players are trying to attack. Flopping the defender. So Malsh is taking now around the basket. They're taking their time, but once they attack, they really go fast and they're attacking movements when they yes. first score really fast. Okay. Oh, half time, half so time. the first half time is over. I will try to tell the people outside to speak a bit less loud. Yes. So we saw a quite um, good half time of Malsh uh, with four goals and then we have had two three throw attacks and one and always there was one player staying two meters and then they came from behind dropping the ball and so they were really fast at the basket again to try to set up the attack. Um, we now have change of sides, so all the players are getting to breathe a little bit. Maybe Vienna is now having the strength to get into the game a little bit better, <coughs> understanding how much is attacking and playing. Um, so they set up the defense a little bit harder and getting out there and managing the ball possession. <laughs> so Lisa is just getting a few things and it's coming back in a few seconds. Okay, we have a live chat. Greetings to Lorena, which she's actually isn't here right now, but we will pass it to her. Um, Orca has played so far, the women's and won. And right now we have the game Malsch against Wien. Um, so we have half time. The referees are discussing and speaking. So. <laughs> Just and some Indias yeah. just wrote to the chat. Yeah. Um, Lilo is well, so Lorena is outside. Lilo is well, she played very well. Camilo yes. I haven't seen, and Pacho is sick. <laughs> uh, but he's in bad. <laughs> 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 yeah. So one minute left for the half time. Okay. <laughs> How's it going? First time commentating. It's going really good. Sometimes it's hard to see when they're on the close corner what they're doing, but it's we don't seem perfect yes. more than that. I think we will get there. We have three days left of commentating, right? No, so we are just it. If you have any comments about our commentating, write so in the commentaries. We'll try yeah. to adapt. If you have any special wishes, more analysis, more background information or something, we can try to do it. Okay, so 15 seconds left for half time. Maybe we should switch camera. Um, we don't control it here. <laughs> it's in the other room. 4-0, seventh, yeah. seventh game of the day. The camera switched. So TSV Malsch from Germany in blue against Vienna from Austria in white. Four so zero. really fast start. Malsch got the ball. They're very strong. They're, they're dominating the, the game. Vienna is in ball possession right now, struggling against Malsch. So they managed to get the ball, which wasn't so the first time I think they really get into the game now they're trying over the close corner to set up their game um, but Vienna is at, at the match basket which yeah. happened just twice in the first half time yeah. I think or three times and there are three, always three four players coming in waves and trying to set up the attack um, not losing the ball they're still playing um, out of the corner, ball possession wide. Now they had to pass to the midfield, but they managed to get back to the corner. But you see the difference, for instance, when um, mm -hmm. 
when the same situation, similar situation is happening, playing the corner over the Vienna basket, yeah. there would be a defender and the goalie and Malch is way more relaxed, I know they're further away yeah. from the basket, but they just had one person, one just the goalie yes. waiting, but they, they know that they are, they are stronger, I think, mm -hmm. and that they, uh, for them it will be easier um, to get back to yeah, the basket. They got to the defend, yeah. have and very strong players. Yeah, right now we are at the match, the, the uh, Vienna basket, trying to attack, uh, attack. but they tried on the open side, lost the ball to Vienna because they dropped it. So and from Vienna, but not very fast. No. They were stopped by player number two of Mars, which is Sasha Wüchner. Now they're in possession again. White team looks struggling. Like holding the wrong Yeah, the night was the limit. Ah yeah, they were like pushing and roughing. So He's there's pushing free throw for Vienna. Yes. So Vienna is comparatively playing better now than they did at the beginning of the yes. first half. Um, I think they found their thrive in yes. the game. And it's also a bit what I was saying before the, the previous game, Black Hermits against Langen mm -hmm. from Germany um, to Lorena. One, you know, it will be very hard, almost impossible for me, <laughs> objective uh, for Vienna to win this game. So when you say, let's try to do something else, let's try to, to play as well as we can, but save, uh, try to uh, get as little gold as possible, of yes. course, but then uh, let's try to play as, as well as possible and change the way of playing. Yes, just got a coffee supply from Wolf. Yes, it's perfect. So they now really are playing more at the March basket, trying to set up the attack, playing the ball quite nicely around the, the basket. Now they lost it again. Um, but trying to to inter interfere the passes, but now we're going into the corner of the Vienna basket, and the, the defensive forechecking by Vienna is also there yeah. now. This uh, stopping Malch midfield, but they didn't. Yeah, they were struggling a bit before. So the defense got the ball, dropped it. And Maus is, is struggling harder to set up their attack. They're not getting so close to the basket right now. They're they're more surface scrum, I think. Maus has the ball. But you see, Vienna is uh, even if they have been defending a lot now, Three uh, players. they have a lot of players on the water, very consistent. Like that was grabbing the neck a bit, holding, holding. holding. without the ball. I think the referee from the open side saw it. Yeah. yeah. So we don't have a few of him. But it's now free throw against for Vienna. As Vienna was attacking as much as well, now they were more... They didn't have to defend that yeah. much. They could save some air, I think. And yes. now that's also why they defend better Definitely, as well. Yes. If you don't defend that much, it's easier for you to defend. Yeah. yeah. Defend afterwards. Okay, now we have another ball possession of March going to the corner. And they're pretty nicely playing out, uh, out, out the corner of the closed side. And there are always two people like at the goal when they set up an attack. So now we have C number 8. Yeah. Megan Shia was waiting here for a long time. This looks like uh, someone's at the surface with the ball. Swimming down. Oh, there comes number 10. So he passed the ball down and swam directly to the basket. Jochen Schottmüller, but now the defender from Vienna has the ball. Number, is it 18? Yes, it's uh, like Peter Kalkuhl. Markus Wimmer. True. And he really nicely got hold of the ball, checked forward, and now that we are back at the Mausch basket. Um, which is which is quite surprising actually. If you yes. see, if you had, if you have seen the first half, no, you would not have expected them to yes. turn the game around that much. I'm not saying they're not they're not scoring, but they're at the Malch basket. Maybe 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 Malch is letting them. I don't think they do that on purpose because Malch came here to win, and uh, you don't let another team get to your basket on purpose. Mm, yes, so there was timeout. timeout for Malch. For Malch. 
Stücke Teil hatten auch. So they really is what you said, they don't doing it on purpose, they came here to win. Yeah. And they're like trying really hard. So there is already a few minutes uh, gone from the second half time. Yes. Like we must be halfway through, so much it's a good game. game. They didn't score in this half time. No, there wasn't a goal in this half time, so it's really a sign for um, Vienna getting stronger and more confident in attacking and setting up the attack and managing the ball. They got themselves together, they no. got a bit uh, a taste of the game, first first game of the tournament as well, and uh, my first game now. Okay, second half time, let's get a bit more serious and uh, get better, and they're, they're playing way better than the first yeah. half time. They really found themselves in the pool. Mm -hmm. So, we have four seconds left, and it's a free throw. Looks like a free throw for March. It's like four minutes left in the second half of the seventh game of today. Okay, there started with the free throw for Mouse, <coughs> getting in over the corner. There are a lot of people waiting at the basket, it's trying to push really the ball. Well. It's now it's very well pushing. No, pushing. There's def now there's a fair defender again. This is a bit holding the head, but... <laughs> uh, now this number 14, Christian Prava, has the ball. Um, went into his scrum at the surface, and now we're back again, attacking. But you see Vienna is now down with more people, like trying to interfere their attacks and um, March is now always with three players there. Yes. Now, now it was a goal. Goal from March from the close side again. Yeah. And have we didn't see who, who did the ball. There was it's always this this thing that when they score they really find the smallest window of opportunity and score a very quick yeah. and powerful move. And um, so it, it's very easy to miss actually that the when they score, yeah. with, now it was a goal, and who did it, how did he do it, it's very hard to see, especially on the, on the close side. Second. It's very... Yeah, um, it says one second, and then... <coughs> so we're back in the game again. We have... A scrum, or fighting for the ball in the middle field. Uh, ball possession has Vienna. Um, and now Marsh again. They're playing safely out of the corner, and now we should have an attack. But the, the close side again. Yeah, ah, there is no the open side. Yeah, that was from the open side, number... Was it 10? Could be, but it was from the open side. He had a push up goal, and the there was no defender. Yeah, there, there was, was no defender. The service, just the goalie and the scorer, and that's these one second opportunities to score. Yes, and then they dragged the defender away because it was a scrum. That happens. Yes. With which team do we train? So, Annika? With a new, uh, I'm training with Freiburg, which is in the far south of Germany, um, and then I train wherever oh. I travel. Oh, that's another no. fast attack. Would have been a, a Good goal opportunity, very good goal good scoring position, but there was yeah. no goal from Alch. There at the close side again. Goalie had lighted his shoulder on basket, but he was not being under attack, so... Yes. Okay. No, and... Me, Lisa, I play with the STC Graz in Austria. And I also participate in the Austrian national team's training camps, as do all the women in Austria, actually. Yes. So that's why I, I know the, the Vienna teams, especially the women. I will do yeah. the next game as well. I know them and quite I well. Yes. The, the men not that that well, but I see them regularly in the Czech League and everything. That's why I know them quite well. So Vienna is trying to set up an attack again, holding the ball, number four, which is... Um, there's no number. Four. There's no number, it looked like. Ooh, there was a goal on an empty basket. Uh, that looked like Thomas Denk. Yeah. Who came arrived too late, but it was very, very fast attack. It was a really fast counter attack from Mount, coming from the far corner to score. So we have 19 seconds left in this game. It's 7-0 for Mount. 
but Vienna really played a good half, second half. They really got into the game, defending and attacking more. Um, there was a scrum and now the game is over. So Malch wins with 7-0 against Vienna, but Vienna really found itself into the into the game. That's it, they, they improved a lot, uh, the yes. way they played over the game, so they got scored on uh, five times in the first half time and twice only in the second half time and just towards the end, actually, both goals were at the end. Yes, yes. So, so there was like maybe tiring. Yes. Um, so next game coming up is um, Akarn versus uh, Vienna Woman. Yes. So that will be an interesting game. It will be an interesting game. And it's the first uh, game also for their group, for yes. uh, women's group E. So there is three groups for the women, because there are ten teams. And uh, so the group now is Akarin, Vienna and Fierce, Firenze, uh, so Norway, Austria and Italy. And so it's the first game uh, yeah. for this group. It will be a very interesting game because the uh, um, Vienna women were really, or the, the Austrian women were really good at the um, World Championships. The oh, national team is half half, Vienna half Grad, so. <laughs> Yeah, well, they're missing some key players. They're missing some very good players. Yeah, okay. <laughs> for a national team, uh, you, but for example, <laughs> I don't play. Yeah, didn't no. play in the summer, but um, yes, and Akan has a, uh, won the Champions Cup last year. So yes. this will be a very, a very interesting game. Let's uh, let's see how they they will do for on the Vienna side. So we're staying together for this game. I think so. Yeah. So it is actually the one, two, three, fourth women's game uh, of the Champions Cup. And we have so a column from Norway in blue and then white Vienna from Austria. So you want to give a try with the team lists of the, the team Norwegians? Lists. Okay, um, so should I do the Norwegians? Sure. Where is it here? Right. Um, We have, we're just searching for the team lists from the, here, there are, uh, Karen. Okay, we have, like, von Norman playing number two, Marie uh, Pratetaik, number three is uh, Stine Rosardal, number four is um, Tove Holland, number six is Lisbeth um, Hawksberg, number seven is Barrett uh, Deadly, number nine is Kilog Holen, I'm sorry for my pronunciation, number 13 is uh, Cecile Thore, Number 15 is Odd Ingrid Crafting. Number 16 is Irene Royalson. Number 17 is Eli Haugen. Number 19 is Hilde Hestangen. Number 20 is Christina Nergard. And number 25 is Lise Knutsen. Okay, and for Vienna we have 9 Ulrike Janowski, 18 Sabrina Scheuer, 23 Magdalena Wölze, 26 Jackie Heitz, 29 Sophie Bartenstein, 32 Stephanie Pop, 36 Elisabeth Schwarz, 37 Denise Schmutz, 44 Daniela Neunteufel, 52 Teresa Wiehan, 64 Doris Neuberger, 70 Monika Spöttl, 77 Sabine Führer and 93 Nausika Decker. And the captain is uh, Denise Schmutz, vice captain of the Austrian national team. And then we have Underwater, so the referees. Uh, we have so at the deck we have Bob, <laughs> have the last names, uh, and underwater we have uh, Birgit Lidke, so the head referee of the Champions Cup, and uh, Juliana, who is uh, um, a candidate international referee from Colombia, and uh, Robert Glock is observer, along with Manuel. I think. So, so we have some uh, prognosis for uh, the results of the game. So the Nielsen says that the game might be 5 plus goal difference or 10 plus goal difference. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there will be 10 plus goal difference, but 5, that would be a good 5 goal difference. Let, let's see.
Apparently Akan is missing some players and we have um, Akan officially has 15 players. I don't know if they are, are all there. And Vienna has 14, but I know a couple are sick as well. So I don't know if they are playing uh, with full 15, 14 players. Never can see that. So, um, they're trying to get ready. Hi, Wolf. 